Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales, UK. It is windy out there and stormy and it's been a bit of drizzle and also we've had some hailstones. So I thought let's whisk ourselves off to the desert, I think, and let's have a look at what we can... Let's get into that heat. Let's get into the heat of the desert. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So as before we do that, <laughs> let's have a look at the palette. Um, I've got some cerulean blue. You can see it looks quite thick. I'll show you why in a minute. I got some hooker's green. I got some burnt umber, some yellow ochre, some Mars black, some white. So this is, I'm going to use a palette knife a little bit. I'm going to use a bit of both brush and palette knife. Have a bit of fun. Enjoy and enjoy painting with a palette knife. So this is a, a thickening gel, which you can get at www.cly5art.co.uk. And basically, if you mix the gel with the, the paint, the paint is going to thicken up. It's going to be like a very um, thick acrylic paint or act like an oil paint. And that's what you want. You can, you've got the, the ability to paint with acrylics like watercolors or oils. And that's the fantastic thing about acrylics. That's why I like acrylics so much because the versatility, 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 versatility. You say versatility, I say versatility. Um, is brilliant for doing stuff and projects. And I just love playing. I just love playing. And today I'm going to be playing on a 16 by 12 piece of cardboard. And before we do that, let's grab a brush. <laughs> So yes, I'm, I'm I'm quite happy today. Happy, happy, happy. So uh, I put a little bit of gesso on and with a little bit of a yellow ochre because I wanted that warmth come, to come through the sky. Um, I'm going to get some white. Get some white up there. There we go. And I'm going to get a bit of cerulean blue because that's quite thick up there. And let's just get on. Let's put our sky in. Crisscross, crisscross. That's what I do. I like that. Very fast. But you can see that warmth coming through the sky already. That yellowy type of yellow ochre colour coming through the sky. That's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more blue in the sky. There you go. Cerulean blue. It's got a little bit of green bias to it, but that's fine. Now I used these colours on another lesson that I did, I did um, earlier. So I thought, well, let's just use them up. Just use them up. If you've got a bit of paint left on your canvas, um, scrape it up, put it back in the container. If you use tabs, scrape them up, put it back in the container. Or you can use some little medicine um, containers or things like that. Um, these pill boxes that you can buy um, in the dollar store, pound shop, whatever. You can you can um, put them in them, or you can just you you can put them in the freezer. Actually, you can freeze acrylics, but be careful because they do tend to come out a little bit wishy washy because the ice crystals forming in the in the um, acrylic paint will actually thin it down a little bit. So just be careful if you do decide to do that. But I've never had to thin my acrylics, um, not thin them, freeze them. Never had the three. Well, actually, my acrylics are frozen because they're frozen in the studio sometimes because it gets really cold here in Wales. It really does. Oh, that's not too bright down there. Some of my cameras they look they look quite bright. I'm hoping that's not too bright. In fact, I'm going to just drop the exposure down on this one a bit. That should be okay. There we go. Little bit of blue in the sky. Blue skies shining above me. Nothing but blue skies can I see. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Oh, let's get there. Let's get a bit of white. I've got some projects on now. I'm going to pick up a bit more white. I've got some projects coming in. 
this time of the year I see I seem to get a few people asking me to paint certain things and I've got a couple of pet portraits and, and stuff to do so let's get some wispy clouds going on look at that just have fun just just make it up as you go along clouds don't stand on ceremony so why should we we shouldn't I used to I used to agonize over clouds sometimes years ago when I first started I was agonize over clouds I used to paint them like this I spend ages and ages trying to get a cloud now I just throw the paint on and and brush it in like this and it gets more effective then clouds haven't got a pattern as such so it's just important that we just let the brush sometimes just do what it wants to do there you go there's there's our sky there's our sky then happy with that happy 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 so let's put the brush down and i'm I'm going to grab a, a a palette knife now now you can do this with a brush if you want to or if you're following along if you haven't got a palette knife um uh, but i'm gonna use my board there you go i'm gonna use my board and i'm just gonna pick up a palette knife like that there we go and i'm gonna grab grab i'm gonna grab some yellow ochre i'm gonna put it on my board and you, you, you'll hear me picking it up like this. So I'm not doing anything special. So I thought, let's put a a ridge of these desert-like formations. I don't know what they call them. There must be a name for these things. Cliffs, mountains, is they? I don't know. What do you call them in the desert? You tell me. So... I'm just going to drag them down like that. Just picking up a little bit of paint. I play a bit of Red Dead Online, which is, if you don't know, it's a PlayStation game and it involves you running around like a cowboy <laughs> or an Indian. In my case, I dress up as an Indian now. I don't know why. I just think it's a good idea because everybody's running around like cowboys, and I thought, well, I'd be t I'd different because I'm I'm always different. I like to be different. My mother said, "Clive, you're always different. You're a different child." I said, oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Didn't know what, quite what that meant at the time, but I'll take it. So, just putting this in. Just take your time. Don't rush. You're not on the time scale, I am. Bring that down there like that. There we go. And we'll go back over here. Leave it nice and thick. It's lovely when it's thick like this. Absolutely love the way this thick acrylic acrylic that was matter with me today i think my i got my tongue wrapped around my teeth today picking up a bit more that yellow ochre off my palette wow Wow, that's nice. I like that already. I think I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> isn't that nice? Isn't that a nice? Right, burned umber now. Let's get some burned umber. Let's 
again, same palette knife. Just scrape in on the palette knife like that. Just get a little a little roll of paint just on the edge of the palette knife like that. Now I gotta find some shadows. him down like this. go starting to come starting to come so we need to put a shadows on the box of these now like that Just dragging a little bit of yellow ochre just across. Like that. Let's get a little bit of yellow ochre just on the tip of the brush and just fill in where I've I've missed over there. So what we could do now is get a little bit of darker green, get a little bit of yellow to it. Let's just put a few. Bits of green. Here, there, and everywhere. Let's get a bit of burnt number. Bit of yellow ochre, mix that together. Little bit of white. Blocking in this area now. Get some yellow ochre.
but a few highlights. Just on these rocks there. Because this landscape looks all like as if it's merging together and it's got to be um, some white. I'm just going to mix a little bit of white and yellow ochre together. Highlights. in there. I like this. I want this to come up a little bit higher than that I think. Maybe not. Let's get a bit of black in there. bit of highlight on top of that one I think just to set that off I love playing sometimes just lifting things up I'm gonna get a bit of green Get a little bit of yellow ochre. Just on the side. Just like that. Let's get a bit of shadow then. another rock in there Scrape up a few. Things. Let me think. Um, let's get them. Um, I'm going to make this nice and bright, I think. Let's 
could be anything, couldn't they? They could be just like massive bushes or something. Just play around, have fun, and put blobs of colour in sometimes, and just let things really. Just need to settle that down. Yeah, see, I, d I d created a shape there. Look, I could, I done a rock. one of those round ones I don't know if they're in the desert but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's what um, your your imagination is we put a we could put another one maybe um, <laughs> where should we put the other one uh, let's try and balance this we've got to try and think we could put another one maybe That's going to be a bit further away. Ground. Bit of green. It's a bit of that green brown grass type of that's that's what you get, didn't you? You get this you get these green browny type of Really, thingies. Get a bit of that there. You said one of those paintings, they look much better as you stand away from them. <laughs> and they really do. And that's what a lot of um, artists do, actually. They, they rely on the fact that you're not going to be too close to the painting. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put a little bit more I want to clean my brush, my palette knife, and I want to get some highlight colour. I want to put a bit more highlight on these. Rocks in the background there, like that. Because it's dried a little bit now, so it's a little bit more sticky. You get the sun, which is coming this way, just glint in on a on a few of them rock formations like that. Quite nice to incorporate a bit of brush and um, some palette knife work. And if you've never used a palette knife before, I encourage you to try. You can't really make a mistake because um, that's how we learn. We learn to walk by falling over. So if we fall over enough, we won't do it again. And that's the plan. Let's get some black onto my palette knife now. Just want to chuck in a bit of 
shadow. Here and there. Through rocks. And I think I'm not far away. From what I like to call possibly a finished painting. So if you never use a pattern knife before, just give it a try. Who knows what you are capable of. Don't forget, we can be what we want to be. All we have to do is believe that we can do what we say we can't do. And that's the moral of the story is, and don't beat yourself up by how it looks, because the further you stand back from this, the better this painting will look. And that's what palette knife work is all about, is creating an illusion of depth and distance and warmth and just have fun that's all i can say today have fun so if you like what you've seen today don't forget to click the subscription button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um press press the um the the, the little tag that says all well and good because <laughs> i forgot what i was going to say oh the notification bell that's what it was don't forget to click the notification bell and uh, you'll be notified of every time i upload a video so until next week thank you very much and i'll see you then Bye bye